Hello there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make an awesome looking health bar, similar to the one you see inside Pebble Heaven, the next chapter. Let's now play test and I can show you the health bar. You can see right here, I have a health bar in the lower left corner of my screen. And right now it's at 99%, so I have 99% health. And you can see the color is green when I have a lot of health and it shows you the percentage of how much health I have left. If I go and eat some food here, I should be gaining my health. So now I'm back to 100%. But if I get hit by these creatures, they take away my health. So I'm at 38% now. And you can see it changes color. So right now I, I'm almost out of health. So the color changes to yellow, kind of similar to the Roblox health bar here. But the Roblox health bar does not have the percentage. This health bar here has the percentage. And let's see if I can get hit more to see what happened. But I don't want to die yet. You see now it goes to 20. And you can see it turns red. The same as the Roblox health bar up here. But this one again comes with the percentage of how much health I have left. And if I die, it goes to zero. And when my character respawns, I get 100% health again. Again, if you play Pebble Heaven the next chapter, you gotta know that you need to eat food to gain your health back. Otherwise, you would lose your health over time. So now I go and eat food, and my health is back to 100%. Alright, so in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to make this beautiful looking health bar that changes color and tells you exactly how many percent health you have left. And by the way, I will include the link to this game in the description of the video in case you want to check it out. In case you want to play Pebble Heaven, the next chapter. It's a very fun game. Come check it out. Alright, so here we are inside Roblox Studio and we're going to learn how to make this health bar here. So basically, you're going to go to your starter GUI. You're going to add a screen GUI or you can go up here to the menu and click on the UI button under the home menu tab. Once you click on that, click on Screen GUI. That's going to create a Screen GUI. And you can rename it to Health GUI. So this is my Screen GUI that I've created. Inside your Screen GUI, you're going to enter, you're going to create a frame. So you're going to add a frame to your Screen GUI. And inside the frame, you're going to add a text label. In case you want more information on how to do all that, you can come to our channel, Pricey P Roblox, and scroll down go to the how to series click on view all and you want to look for roblox user interfaces uis and guis click on view full playlist in this playlist you can learn everything you need to know about text labels surface gui and all other stuff related to roblox user interfaces back to our game so again we have added a screen gui we have added a frame to the screen gui and we have added a text label to that frame one thing to keep in mind here is in your screen GUI, you want to make sure you check this box here, reset on spawn. I believe that is the default, but just make sure it is checked. And now going to your text label inside the frame, click on the text label. You can change the background transparency of this text label. This text label is going to be your health bar. So if you like it to be a little bit transparent so you can see through it, you can see whatever behind this health bar, you can set this background transparency here. You can set the color here if you like, but it doesn't matter because our script is going to change all that. Now going down to the position, it should be all zeros. I believe that is the default, so there's nothing you need to do there. But the size, you need to change it to 1, 0, 1, 0. That's going to fill the entire frame with your text label. You can go down to the text property and enter whatever you like in there. I put 100% in there, but it really doesn't matter because the script is going to change all that as well. Okay, so we're done with the screen GUI, the frame, and the text label. Now, inside your text label, you're going to add a local script. In your local script, you're going to enter the following lines. On the first line here, we're declaring the health bar. The health bar is our text label. 
here we're getting the player, we're getting the character, and we're getting the humanoid. This is the humanoid max health. The default is usually 100. And then we're going to skip down all the way to here. So here we're calling this function. Let's see what it does. First thing, it's getting the current health of the humanoid. This next line here, basically it's just going to return the current health percentage remaining. And we're getting that by using the current health over the max health. Now in case that number is a negative number, then we're using this math function to make it a zero. If it's a negative number or if it goes above one, then it's going to return one. Now the way this is going to work is we're going to resize our text label. So here is our text label size. We're resizing it to the percentage remaining health. So for example, we start out with 100, right? So the, the text label is going to take up 100% of the frame. But when we only have 50% health left, we're going to resize it. We're going to resize the text label to 50% of the frame. And that's going to bring it down to here. So basically, the, the text label is going to get smaller and smaller as you lose health. And as it shrinks, you're going to see the background, which is the frame. So you're going to see part of the frame as part of your health bar. This entire block of script here is basically just to change the color of the health bar. So if your health is above 50, then we're going to give it a green color. It's green. If your health is above 25, we're going to give it a yellow color. Otherwise, we're going to give it a red color. Again, that, this entire block here is just to change the color of your health bar. And here we're updating the percentage remaining in the health bar, which is changing the text of our text label to update the percentage of health remaining. When the player first joins into the game, we're going to call this function one time. And that's it. It's going to do all this. Basically, it's going to set the health to 100. You're going to see a green bar, a full green bar with 100%. Now, as the player's health changes, it's going to fire this get property change signal. And it's going to connect to this function. It is the same function that we used when we first came in, when the player first joined into the game. And that is all there is to it. Let's now play test and take a look. So here we are, we're inside the game, we're at 100% health. And now I'm 99% health, back to 100%, 99. Now I'm at 84%, 54. And I'm dead. I spawn back in and I'm back to 100% health. Guys, that's how you make a health bar that changes color and that displays how much health is remaining in Roblox.